Hey man, you ever looking to flatter? Okay, here's a good question. Is it earth shine or moonshine that makes the moon glow where the sun is not shining? Is the sun shining on the moon? I say yes, yes, and quite possibly yes. But here's the thing. Um, you have greater light and when the light gets greater shining on the moon from the sun you no longer see the moon shine the moon is producing its own light obviously here as we can see and the sun has not yet shined its light bright enough off the moon to drown out the lighter of the light so yes um, it does produce its own light in my opinion and and this is just strictly my opinion but I'm also going to say that it does reflect the sun's light too which kind of goes against some things but I see it as I see it um, so when they say that earth is shining or reflecting its light back up on to the moon I don't think a a, a ball can reflect the light of the sun back to the moon to light it up like this um, now if it's a flat surface it really can't do it either in my opinion because if you look uh, the sun's shining on the bottom but earth is shining on the top how does that work I mean earth we're below it uh, so how, how does that work so I, I got a comment from Where's Wally? Nice Earth shine on the unlit part of the moon too. Great or good stuff. And I said the Earth can shine on the moon, but not the clouds. Um, so that was another thing that I, you know, I've been saying all along that the light is reflecting off of Earth back up to the clouds. That's why it, it looks like the uh, clouds are being lit from underneath. But at no time does the sun ever really go below the clouds. Only perspectively it does, but it never does go below the clouds. Um, and you can even go out and witness this yourself. If you go out and you look to the uh, east after the sun goes down, you still see clouds lit up on the far uh, east coast. The tops of the clouds lit up. So, I mean, that just doesn't make sense either. Um but you also got to think about um, the sun shining on the bottom part, uh, drowning out the top part, the, the actual moon glow itself. So if it was Earth, um, Earth shine on the moon, how is that working uh, over the top? Again, you know, it, it just can't shine. Uh, I mean, that would take some heck of refraction to flip up and shine on the top of the moon as we're seeing the bottom of the moon lit up by the sun um, you know, I, I was going to put in some uh, uh, pictures of uh, the horizon the clouds being lit but I, I, I figured this was probably enough because as we go through these, you start noticing how um, like 50%, it, it does kind of almost drown it out until my camera gets, you know, down toward the bottom sometimes and then boom, there it is. Because it's kind of like blocking out the moonshine. Um, 
So again, we got the moon shine on the top, sunshine shining the bottom. And like I said, it'll get to a certain point here shortly. Um, it, usually, <clears throat> I notice that when I'm taking pictures or these time lapses, that usually right after it's almost like a little over 50%, it, it starts drowning out the moonshine to where you can't not pick it up anymore. So again, it's my thought, my opinion on these. Um, you know, here's another one where I'm just not really going to uh, pick up the moonshine. It's just going to be, um, you know, it's going to get drowned it out right here. You'll see it. Uh, but think about it. Um, again, this is my opinion. You may have another opinion, which is great. Fine. Um, thanks a lot for watching.